Idaho there, friends and neighbors. I cracked a Smo Black IPA. One of my personal brews. You see it? I should have got it right when I poured it into the glass. It's a nice creamy head on it. But I cracked this open to test it. It's been in the bottle aging. About two years now. Everybody, it's me, Scruffy. Um, I've been getting a lot. Of, I've been getting some questions. I'm not going to say a lot because it hasn't been a lot, but I, mean, I have been getting questions from you know some people. Stacy, short, thank you, Bud, um, Todd, uh, a couple other people have made mention. It, it makes me feel good that people are wondering what's going on um, and are curious. You know, uh, I. Uh, I, just, I had to take a break because I, I wasn't able to maintain the consistency that everybody wants. So I basically I took some time and uh, you know did a little course uh, on how to do YouTube better because I mean I kind of taught myself everything and you know it's uh, there's a name for it but uh, you know everybody thinks that oh this is easy oh I can do that oh I see you know this guy doing that I can do that you know. I kind of fell victim to that whole thing, but um, uh, as a part of the the course, they kind of realize you can either batch your videos and put them out, um, give yourself enough time so that that way you have time to continue to make videos. Uh, you can post on a different schedule instead of every week, every other week, uh, or you can just make less complicated videos. Um, I enjoy the process. I. I'm not trying to be selfish. Um, when I go out and I do my footage for my video, um, you know, there's like 12 hours or six hours of footage um, that I have to sift through and, you know, develop a story for and, and do all that um, to be able to put it together to make it so that it's something that everybody wants to watch. I know one of the other things that they taught you is you got to be willing to kill your baby. and. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be selfish or anything like that, but to a certain extent, Picasso didn't, and I'm not saying I'm Picasso, but Picasso didn't, uh, you know, cut corners in his work to um, to accommodate everybody else, and, and that's what made his work his work, and, and that's what I say about everybody's videos. Your videos are you, um, and if you're making videos because you enjoy doing it, then then don't take out what you enjoy um, about the making of the videos and what makes your videos unique um, to please somebody else, right? I mean, I get that, you know, the whole goal is, not the whole goal, but a, a large part of the goal is to make a video that people want to watch. And I hope that I achieve that goal. But if I'm just, you know cookie cutting things out to make it the way that everybody else's is I'm not making it mine I'm not doing me um, you know there are guys on the platform that I, I enjoy their videos um, are there videos like you know everybody else's no are they making what a lot of like YouTube experts would consider major mistakes yeah um, but you know what? I enjoy watching their videos and there are other people who enjoy watching their videos because it's them. It's the guy. It's the person that's doing it. It's, you know, at, at the at the end of the day, you're, you're kind of there for the artist as well as the content that they're making as well as the, you know, the content being in the genre that you like or whatever. So, um... It is what it is. Um, I've got a bunch of videos that are in the meat grinder, as it were, and uh, I'm working on getting them completed so that that way, when I start dropping videos, I don't have to be under the gun because my job, my day job is driving a truck, and I can't, I'm not like some other people who have different types of jobs where they can stay up and sleep like two hours a night and they can, you know, or they went to college for multimedia and they know how all this stuff works. 
you know what? Uh, it is what it is at the end of the day. If you like my videos and you like the way that my videos come out and you find them entertaining, thank you. That's why I kind of do it the way it is. I make some untraditional choices. And I like to think that that's what makes my videos my videos. So, you know, cheers. I can taste the roasted barley in it. It's got a little bit of a bitter IPA taste to it, but not too bad. When I cracked it out of the bottle and poured it into the glass, it had a thick, creamy head. The head came up really fast on it, too. It's probably high time I got the rest of it taken care of. Probably time I made some a fresh batch. I just hadn't been in the mood for it in a while and I put it away. Um, I have like a little, it's like a little chest that I put it all into so that it would stay out of the light and uh, it wouldn't get light struck. Uh, any of those green bottle beers that you see that, that have uh, a skunky aroma to them um, it's because they were in the green bottle and the sunlight got to them and that gives it that skunky flavor now, some people don't like that I enjoy it I think it's I like it it doesn't bother me so um, but I'm sure a real beer purist would say skunky beer no whatever bro but this thing came out really good. It's been two years in the bottle, so it uh, has aged well. It's really it's it's uh, kind of mellow while still um, still having the distinct IPA um, bitterness to it, without a heavy aftertaste. It kind of has more of a um, kind of more of a. More of a brownie, kind of a brownie aftertaste, kind of coffee, kind of like a, a, a toffee, kind of like a toffee brownie aftertaste. The mouthfeel is, uh, it's not overly carbonated. It's, I think, just enough carbonation. It's, you know, it's kind of like, kind of like a cross between a, a, a mild IPA and a Guinness, so, which is kind of what I was shooting for. But overall, not bad. If I remember correctly, the alcohol content I was shooting for was about a 6.6, six, so. I mean, it tastes right in line with that. Having been inside the bottle as long as it has been. I mean, I wouldn't sit down and drink, like, you know, more than two of them at a, at a time. That would be a little bit much. They're kind of heavy, but hey, it's homebrew. What are you gonna do? Smith Media, Outdoors, Black IPA. Thanks for watching. Bye.